Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time, we were in AAA Gwinnett for catching prospect Gordon Miller, and now this time we're heading back down to AA Mississippi for left-handed pitching prospect Pete Payton. So P.D. Payton is a 64 overall A potential. He's 20 years old. He stands 6 foot 2, 208 pounds, and he is from the state of California. And P.D. Payton is the real deal. That A potential is no lie. This guy has filthy stuff. He's got an overpowering fastball. The guy is everything you want, and he's a lefty. The guy is going to be a stud in the major leagues whenever he makes it there. The guy has four great pitches. First off, he's got his four-seam fastball, which usually sits around 96, 97 miles per hour. It's usually about 97, but it will drop down to 96 as the game goes on. Maybe he doesn't have enough stuff on it. It'll be 96. He can also reach back and get 98 if he really wants to. He'll use his four-seamer to just bust guys up and in. He'll throw it down in the way when he needs to if he wants guys to chase. Might even throw it up and away, but mainly it's a pound hitters inside, get them scared, old school, just pound the up and in corner with that overpowering 97, 98 mile per hour fastball that he has. His slider sits around 85, 86 miles per hour, which isn't overly devastating speeds for a slider. It's not a Noah Syndergaard type slider we're talking about here but it's still absolutely filthy. Trails away from left-handers, they have no idea what's coming. He has a really deceptive arm angle as well, so it really plays up his stuff as well. His stuff is filthy to begin with, but then you also factor in his arm angle that he throws at, and it's just unhittable. He has a sweeping curve, which will just get hitters to chase on certain counts. He'll throw it in the dirt, and it's that dirty that it'll get hitters to swing at it. He has a changeup that will pound the outside corners like he's Dallas Keuchel. The guy is the real deal. He has great pitches, four solid pitches. He'll throw all these pitches in any count. 0-1 count, 0-2 count, 1-2 count, 2-2 count, whatever count it is. He'll throw any of these four pitches, and all of these pitches are viable on any count. And he definitely doesn't fall behind hitters that much as he goes right after guys. He throws strikes, he pounds that strike zone. And I really can't say enough great things about this guy. He's only 20 years old. He's still got some time to grow. He's not major league ready just yet. I'd say his MLB ETA is probably 2020. We're currently in the 2018 season. So he'll definitely be in the minor leagues for 2018. Definitely for 2019. We're most likely for 2019. He'll definitely start the year in 2019, but you never know what can happen. He could have a ridiculous end of the season, and he could be like a 70 overall by the time the season ends. And then in 2019, he could be like a 75 by like, uh, I don't know, September call or something, and then he could be up in the big leagues. But we'll, we'll see, but I would say 2020 is probably the most realistic expectation for his MLB ETA. But the guy is definitely a stud on the mound. Left-handed pitcher, deceptive bar angle, got overpowering fastball, filthy breaking stuff. The guy is a stud. I can't get that point across any more than I'm trying to right now. And the mind-boggling thing about this guy is this guy was one of those guys that the AI drafts and doesn't sign. They were like, ah, you know, we don't need him. We're not going to sign him. We don't want him. And he walks in a free agency. He's there ripe for the picking, and we pounce on this guy. He's now part of the Braves farm system, which is already ridiculous. And we just stocked it up even more this past offseason just by picking up this guy. As far as P.D. Payton's player comparison goes, I would say that Chris Sale is a pretty fair comparison. The guy has deceptive arm angle, filthy slider, overpowering fastball. Those two pitches alone, I would say, are a pretty good Chris Sale comparison. And then you add on the changer, the changeup, and the sweeping curve as well. I would say Chris Sale is a pretty good comparison for an overpowering lefty. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Atlanta Braves Prospect Profile going over left-handed starting pitcher Pete Payton. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. Automatic laughter from a pro.